Hi people and welcome today for our tutorial. I really really hope everyone is okay. And how is your business going? Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your views. I take none of it for granted. So for today's tutorial, we are going to be making a short dress with a raglan sleeve and a roll-up collar or neckline, okay? And I'll be using this just two yards of Ankara fabric for it, okay? This is just two yards. And then for the sleeve, I'll be using a contrasting color. So I'll be using this yellow fabric for the sleeve. Okay, let's just go there. First, I'll be folding my fabric into two and then into two again. And because of the multiple colors on this fabric, I'll be making the markings on the right side, not on the wrong side, so that everyone will be able to see it. So this is the first fold. And then I'll fold again, making it the second one. I believe in a zipper allowance of about one inch. And the length of my gown is 40 inches. I'll be adding two inches extra for allowance. Okay, so the next now is to place my shoulder measurement, which is eight and then three inches for shoulder slope standard. And on this eight inches, I'm going down by one inch, also standard for shoulder slope. Okay, I'll have to extend my shoulder measurements down. Okay. And then my armhole measurement is 9 inches, which is here. And this will also form my chest point. My shoulder to waist is 16 and a half inches. Then from my waist to my hip is 9 inches. I hope you are following this. All right. Now my chest measurement is 40 inches divided into 4 is 10, which is here. And then I'll add allowance of just 1 inch, which will leave us at this point. Shoulder to bust is 12 and a half inches. Twelve and a half inches. And on it, I'm going to place my bust measurement, which is 43 divided into 4 will give us 10.75, which 
which is here and then allowance of one and a half inches okay my waist is 38 divided into 4 is 9.5 allowance of 2 inches my hip measurement is 46 divided into 4 11.5 plus 2 inches allowance okay now i'm going to drag this hip measurement down to the hemline okay and we have 13.5 here 13.5 okay now for this hemline i don't want it straight i want it a little bit wider than the hip measurement so i'll just add one and a half inches to leave it at this point okay i hope you understand i'm just adding one and a half inches to this hip line we brought we brought down our hip measurement from this place down to the hem line and i said i don't want this short dress straight i want it a little bit wider at this hem line wider than the hip measurement so i added one and a half inches extra for it so i will now connect the markings chest to bust bust to waist waist to hip be sure to elim eliminate any form of sharp curve and then hip to hemline Okay. Now we go to the neck line, and that is where our raglan sleeve is going to be imputed. For my neck depth, I will use five and a half inches, which is here, and for my neck width or neckline. I'll be using four okay I'll be using four and a half inches which is here okay I'll just take the four and a half inches down okay now I'll need to come down by three inches okay which is here okay. and then my neck is going to be a round neck so I'll just make the connection this is for the front anyway for the back I'll go with 3 inches okay so it's like this if you like you can still choose to move down a little bit that is for the volume of the neckline all right now for the armhole curve just get the midpoint and place your curve okay okay so now for the raglan sleeve Remember, this is my shoulder. From here to here is my shoulder measurement. That is 8 inches. Okay. Now, I will come in by 1 inch. This is for the front. And still connect it to the shoulder slope. Okay. This is for the back. This is for the front. Now, for, the, for, for this back, I curved it using 1 and half inches i hope you see it from this intersection here this is actually a freehand method because the raglan sleeve is very very complicated so i'm trying to make it as simple and understandable as possible so this is one and a half inches here okay and then for this one again it's going to be one and a half inches I 
I hope you understand this. So this is for the back. This is for the front. Okay. Now for the raglan sleeve, all you need to do now is to join from this point to this point. Like this. I don't want to use my ruler anymore. I hope you see it. From this point, now there's a slight curve towards this armhole area. In other words, it went like this. I hope you understand. It has a shape similar to this. I'll need to wipe this up so that you don't get confused. Okay. I hope you understand it. Now for the, this is for the back. Remember this is the back neck, volume of neck, and this is the front, okay? So for the back, it has to start from the back neck, and for the front, it has to start from the front neck. Don't worry, when we are cutting, we are going to be cutting them separately so that you understand it better. So now for the front, you start from the front neckline, and continue also so for the front neckline it gave something like this a shape like this also but this is deeper than the back neckline okay I'll also need to wipe this off so now basically I will try to cut it out so that you see what we have left but before then i'll need to extend my shoulder measurement this is for the sleeve so to this point i won't be using this remember i said i'll be using another contrasting fabric for the sleeve okay and then we'll have to end it here now, if you have surplus of fabric, you can go as long as you want. You can just maintain this line and continue to move down till you get the length of the sleeve you want. And when you get that, you will just join it this way. This was exactly what we did in our pattern. Okay, so now this is the raglan sleeve. I hope you see it. All right, so I will now go ahead and cut. I have to show the cut from start to finish. Okay, I will not be editing it out. So this is going off completely because it is not part of the measurement. Okay. This is the sleeve. For this sleeve you will need to measure your round sleeve okay for this opening i didn't measure it because i know i will measure it in the other fabric okay okay right now i'm going to be cutting the back first of all now this here is the back here we go So this is the back, and then I will cut the front.
Okay. I hope you see it now. This is the back and this is the front. And then for the neckline, this also is the back. And then this the front. All right. I really hope the cutting is well understood. Okay. Now looking closely, you will see that there is this difference here. That makes this one the front. And then the one under the back. All right. And this is the raglan sleeve. Now for this sleeve also, we need to remove the front. The front neckline. Please don't forget. All right. So that when you now place it, it will give you a uniform neckline. I hope you see it. I hope you see it. All right. All right, so with these three pieces, now we are going to be cutting the sleeve. Even this one is very important because this is part of the front pattern. I hope you understand. It came out from here. Okay. So I'll be putting it back on the sleeve like this so it's going to be like this on the sleeve okay all right now for the sleeve the sleeve is going to be a circular kind of sleeve but if you want a fitted sleeve you can just use this one okay all you need to do is to expand it here a little okay to accommodate the round sleeve of your arm okay but this is going to be like a circular sleeve okay so i'm placing it like this so my cutting is just going to be here i hope you see it all i need to do is to remove here first of all This is for the back sleeve. Okay. Okay. Now this is the allowance for sewing. I hope you can see it. This little space here is the allowance for sewing. So whenever you are cutting, always make sure you are leaving few uh, allowance for sewing. Okay. Now, assuming we are to put our bodies this is what we have okay so i hope you are following so the next thing i will need to do is to just mark this point sorry i'm going to bring a more visible chalk for this all right so you mark this point remember this is the arm hole okay all right I hope you understand this. Now, you just draw your circle. Okay? This is what I mean. You can go anywhere you want, but make sure it is coming back to this point. Okay? So now, this is what we have. So this is what we have as the sleeve. I hope you understand it. Okay, so this is what we have and I'll go right ahead to cut it. All 
right, so this is it for the back sleeve. Then for the front sleeve, you have to pick up the front pattern. Okay, and don't forget these pieces. I hope you understand it. Okay, if you remove this one, it becomes back pattern. Okay. You now make your tracy. And also mark this armhole point. Okay. And from this end also, come this way. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to mark it visible enough for you to see now this is what we have for the front pattern don't forget this is the armhole point okay and when you do this feel free to use the back sleeve to check if both are having the same length the reason i did not measure it is because the fabric is already finished so whatever i have left is enough for my sleeve okay all right so I'll now go ahead and cut this one out also all right so this is the front sleeve our front raglan sleeve this is our armhole where it ended so i should just close this place up so if you want to fix it it's going to be this way now this one is the allowance for sewing okay this is for the front okay so this is the front but the raglan pattern and the raglan sleeve and this is the back okay I hope you see it okay but the next thing I will do now is to cut out the lining for this body so I will not be adding lining to the sleeve so I'll just cut out lining for the body of the dress okay okay since we now have both the front and the back sleeve cut out the last thing to be done on the sleeve is to now separate them here remember this is just the back this is the other one is the front okay and you know it needs to be the back and the front together as a sleeve not just the front and front so we now have to open it up here okay Now, having opened it up, so we now have four pieces of sleeve, and then this one goes to this, okay, to give us front and back together, and then this one also goes to this, to give us front and back together. I hope you understand it better now, so I will just join them here, okay so now we have front and back together in one sleeve instead of front alone in one sleeve back in one sleeve now we have front and back together front and back together all i need to do now is to just close them up here but make sure when you are joining you join correctly so you don't join back to back again and front to front again okay we did this because the neckline the volume of the neck was 
different okay if you are looking at here you will see it they are different that was why we had to open it up if not we would have just made the adjustment on the sleeve itself but because the neckline is different that was why we had to open it up